What's going on everybody? It's your boy Sofago Daily here with another video. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the Sofago and Playboy Cardi disaster that happened last week. I'm gonna guys let you guys know what's going on with this so-called myth and any updates. But before we dive into that, if you guys do enjoy the content, hitting the like and subscribe button will not only improve the chances of this collab happening, but would help me out a ton since over 80% of the people watching this aren't even subscribed. Hitting that fat juicy red button down below will get me to my goal, which is 2,000 subscribers. Thank you all once again, and now let's get on to today's topic. So this whole situation started around last weekend with a Twitter account posting about a song being registered in some sort of music licensing database that anybody I think can upload on. I knew that after, um, called ASCAP, with the song being titled Blick Squad featuring Ken Carson and Sofago. And I had to go back and double check like, at the end, the feature that Fago was on there, like, there's no way. I mean, I get Cardi having his boys on there, you know, OPM team, you know, Ken Carson, Destroying Lonely, and them, but like Fago, I would never expect to be on there. Um, so I'm like thinking to myself, how did Fago get a song with Cardi before Travis? You know, that's insane. And then the Instagram comment from Ken Carson himself also made it look hella legit. And I'll keep it a stack. At first, I'm like, dude, there's no way this is real. But then, five to ten minutes after, massive blogs were posting i mean like underground sound hyperpop daily like so many big pages were posting about it and i'm like i don't know it suddenly started to blow up a lot and i feel like these massive pages were really trying to manifest this collab to happen and it really did sound convincing at the time unfortunately though um you know dj academics that's well founded in the cardi community you know he has a lot of intel with cardi uh stated on twitter that the track lists that are floating around are all fake um, meaning that everything that you're really seeing on you know twitter and instagram and all that stuff is very fake i mean yeah i mean cardi himself is very mysterious um like he doesn't like to leak out that information let alone his team leaking that information so uh, just knowing that and even from his prior history, you know, we all expected that that was fake. Um, you know, it was just an ongoing meme that honestly was a huge promo run for Fago. I mean, yeah, I mean, I never seen that like hype behind an artist wanting to collab with another big artist. Like, it's insane. I mean, yeah, we would all love, I think, to see a Cardi and Sofago uh, collab. But man, like how much it blew up and how much one little tweet uh, changed the whole perspective on this was insane yeah in 2019 to 2020 i'm pretty sure back in the day i think fago posted on the discord that you might hear a fago and cardi song soon but i don't know how credible this was i mean i think back then somebody was just like messing around but i'm not really sure and yeah to wrap up the whole uh situation um yeah like i said this was just a huge hoax on twitter man i mean a lot of people were just you know hyping it up over hyping it up you know making a lot of people think it's real which in reality it was never real um but yeah i mean it was a crazy weekend for the fago and cardi community because the cardi community kept getting a lot of random track lists and a lot of them were posting them too uh, and you know in our corner you know the fago fan pages you know this was like huge news to us because you know it's like a real small it's a smaller artist compared to a bigger artist it's like wow this is like would be the you know collab of the century for fago but like i said i'm gonna still keep manifesting it man i'm gonna keep pushing the agenda we need this collab to happen i mean these two are like talented artists i mean especially cardi you know fago looks up to cardi so much um especially even his old project whole lot of red i'm gonna play a clip as the outro um yeah he you know he you know kept saying how much of an influence that album had on him and you know how for a lot of people in this generation of music can apply that moving forward um, so I'm just going to play the clip real quick, and then uh, we'll get back to the outro. Whole lot of Red was very iconic for the young niggas, bro. Like, point blank, dog. Whole lot of Niggas, but niggas still, bro, niggas be hating. Niggas just be hating. That's all it be. Niggas just be hating, bro. Niggas still bump whole lot of red. Every every nigga that was talking shit about Cardi when he dropped whole lot of red, trust me, niggas is bumping that shit. Nah, we see you, bro. We see y'all niggas. We hear we hear stop breathing playing in y'all headphones and and Team X. We hear that shit.
It just be niggas, bro. Let me know you guys' opinion down below. Like I said, um, I was super torn at it at first. You know, I went on Twitter and I noticed like, hey, all these people are like, you know, siding with this guy. Like, hey, yeah, it's real, it's real, it's real. It's, you know, it's gonna drop, it's gonna drop. And I'm like, there's no way. I mean, like, it's so soon for Cardi and Fago to work together. And also, like I said, Cardi has been on an incredible run with two of his singles. You know, they've been insane. And also, like I said, us in the Fago corner, you know, we're just waiting for him to drop more music. So, I mean, this would have been a hell of an opportunity for him to be on a big album. But unfortunately, that is not the case. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised maybe one day, you know, Fago keeps working with these OPM members as well. Because, you know, Ken Carson, so Fago have a lot of songs together. You know, potentially even destroy Lonely, and obviously Cardi would be like an insane grill feature. But like I said, voice your guys' opinions down below. Um, luckily, we did get information that all of this was a rumor and just a huge myth. So, like I said, don't come at me. You know, you guys can just go in the comment section below and voice your guys' opinions. But even that, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.